So you have a friend named Danny, and his pronoun is he. But for years you've been accustomed to refer to him as she. And you want to get it right, but routine is set in stone. So you practice his new pronouns loud and clear when you're alone. This is my friend, his name is Danny. He himself is a friend of mine. I'm so glad to be a friend of his. Both he and I are fine. So you have a friend named S. And their pronoun is they. And maybe you're not used to thinking of them in that way. And you want to get it right in the flesh and on the phone. So you practice their new pronouns loud and clear when you're alone. This is my friend, their name is S. They themselves are a friend of mine. I'm so glad to be a friend of theirs, both they and I are fine. You don't want to hurt your friends or imply that they're pretenders. Be sure to use the pronouns that reflect their proper genders. Habits may die hard, but that's not a dispensation. To make some brand new habits, all it takes is acclamation. So you have a friend named Gal, and your pronoun is he, which might be a fresh addition to your vocabulary. And you want to get it right in New York and in Bayonne. So you practice your new pronouns loud and clear when you're alone. This is my friend, your name is Gal. Z yourself is a friend of mine. I'm so glad to be a friend of yours, but Z and I are fine. All you need is practice, and you'll get it in the end. And surely that is worth it if you wanna be a friend.